Hey, what's up, guys? It's Brayden TCT, and welcome back to another Rise of Civilizations video. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about a commander review guide on a commander called Kushinoki. And Kushinoki is a commander of Japan, and I'll pull him up right here. I can post in a video. And so did Klaus. That's pretty cool. Um, so Jacksepticeye. Um, okay, so, uh, Kushinoki, he is a Japan. Um, commander, he is a skill commander, archer commander, and a garrison commander. Now he is a both a really good, you can use him for all, all archer units because he has a archer, he has archer skills, archer that attack and defense, so if you guys want to run all archer units then you guys, then he would probably be good. Um, I'm gonna do another archer video, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna record it, like right after this or something. I don't know if it's come out yet, but probably not, but. I'll be recording that soon, so make sure to subscribe if you guys are new so you guys can see that video. And also, um, just subscribe so um, because I make Daily Rise of Civilization videos. But enough about me, we're gonna keep talking about his skills. He's also like a, a garrison commander because of this skill garrison counter attack damage by 7%. Does he have any others? Yeah, well, all of, us, all of his other skills can contribute to being a garrison. So, you can build him as a garrison or a nuker. He is a decent nuker. Um, he doesn't have that good of a, um, a direct damage factor, but he has really good additional damage factor because he has 250 here, but over here he has an additional damage factor of 450. So if you add that together, then that is um, 700 additional damage factor. So that's pretty good for attacking um, how many targets at once? Um, Three targets, yeah. So we can attack three targets in a fan-shaped area um, with an additional damage factor of 700. And that's pretty good. So um, he is a pretty good nuker. If I, yeah. So um, I built him as a nuker because of that of those skills. Um, I don't really need a garrison at this point in my because we've been in peace. So there's really no point for garrison right now. But if you guys do need a garrison, then he can be a pretty good garrison for you guys. So, um, we're gonna... Okay, so then he also has his expertise skill. It increases his archer damage. So this is will help him with um, attacking archer-only units. So this can be pretty good if you guys like want to run archer-only stuff. So it's pretty good. And you guys can build him as a garrison if you guys want to use my garrison. Um, I won't judge your choice if you guys do pick a garrison, but I would suggest probably a skill because he has that additional damage factor that is really good. So like you could pair him up with uh, Tomoe or other archer um, commanders, and then he has like good like a good archer only um, bonus. So we're gonna show you, but but the only problem is he's not very good with attacking um, barbarians because. Once he uses his skill, and there's other barbarians nearby, and he like, he'll attack two different barbarians or like three barbarians, and then you'll have three barbarians on you, and that won't be very good because you don't want more than one barbarian unless you guys choose to. But it's just not very good to use if like you're just attacking barbarians in general. So I try to try to avoid using him while using barbarians while attacking barbarians. So, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm sorry that this video was short, there's not much to talk about for Kushinoki, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like if you guys did, and also make sure to comment down because that helps my video get suggested along with likes. And also, um, if I already explained this earlier in the video, but if you're new to my channel, then please subscribe because I make daily Rise of Civilizations videos, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.